Windows 11 just got a fresh upgrade and it's not just bug fixes. The KB5067036 update introduces a completely redesigned start menu, bold new battery icons and deeper co-pilot integration across the operating system. This is the future of Windows, sleeker, smarter and more connected. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and drop a like. It really helps out the channel and keeps you up to date with all the latest Windows news. In today's video, I will break down everything new, what's changed behind the scenes and how you can download the update right now. Let's take a look at what Microsoft has been cooking up for the next evolution of Windows 11. So this is the latest update for Windows 11, which you must download right now. And how you guys can pretty much do that, go here to the settings and under the Windows update section, make sure that you click here and check for the update. As you can see, I already have another new update pending and I will have to restart my computer. And that way pretty much you will get this latest update, which brings this brand new start menu. So let's take a look here at the start menu first. So this is the brand new start menu, which is actually enabled by this update. And here down below, we can see the categories. Pretty much Microsoft is using some kind of the algorithm to sort the applications here to different folders. For example, accessibility, creativity, other productivity, utilities, and tools. So pretty much once you click here on, for example, on the folder, this is how it's going to pop out. And here you can see pretty much every Every single application which is categorized by the productivity tag. Now if you want you can also change to a different view. For example here under the view you can change this to the grid and this is what it's going to look like pretty much the grid. However you can also change this to the list and this is how the list actually looks like here with the latest update of Windows 11. Now, I must admit, I do prefer this one, which is the category. So you can simply have the folders here and then you can access your applications that way as well. Now, pretty much this is the new start menu, which is enabled by this new update. However, Microsoft also introduced some brand new battery icons for this update as well. So here on the right, you can see my battery icon and uh, that my laptop is actually charging. And on the internet, I actually found this chart, which really nicely resembles here old icons compared to the new icons. And here on the right, we have this new icons, which in my opinion, they look much better compared to before. And they also have color inside them. For example, you have energy saver enabled. You can also see here that the actual battery icon is in yellow color. Then for the charging, we have the green color. We have also this black one. And for the low battery, we have also this red indicator, which I also quite like. Pretty much, these are the new icons here enabled by this update. Now, there's also one more additional feature inside the File Explorer, which got redesigned the recommended section. So if you go here to the File Explorer, we can click on Home. And here we can see this brand new design of the recommended section. Pretty much here, I have the downloads folder here. And uh, yeah, this is how the recommended section looks from now on as of this new Windows 11 update. Now there is also one more feature enabled by this update as well. And this is this Copilot app and Copilot is even more integrated into the system than ever before. So pretty much we have this brand new Copilot app and now it also introduces here this smart GPT-5. So OpenAI's GPT-5 model is also right now available inside of of this uh, co-pilot application and you guys can pretty much use it as you want. And here you can also find this really cool feature which is get guided help with your apps. For example, if you click here on the settings, it will help you to use this application specifically or if you have any of the issues, I think it will help you to resolve them as well. So I think this is definitely a welcome change for this Windows 11 update. But the one which I think is the most welcome is this one right here. So this brand new start menu which looks absolutely stunning. As I mentioned before, make sure that you go here to the Windows Update section and update your computer. And you guys make sure that you also have this option enabled. So to get the latest updates as soon as they are available, make sure that you also toggle this option to on and pretty much you guys will get this latest update of Windows. So KB5067036 and the build number is actually 26,200.7019. 
And here we can also take a look at some of the fixes of this update as well. And here, if I click under the announcement and messages on simplified Windows update titles, we can see here that they have a new standardized title format, which makes Windows updates easier to read and also understand. It improves clarity by removing unnecessary technical elements like platform architecture and date prefixes. Key identifiers such as the KB number and build or version are retained to help you quickly recognize each update. And then here under the changelog, we can also see that they improved the underlying changes for the drivers. So to help reduce users seeing drivers fail to actually install. And this was previously an error, which hopefully by installing this update, it's now resolved. So yeah, this is pretty much this brand new update, which enables brand new start menu for Windows 11, also new battery icons, and also revamped recommended section here inside the file explorer, which I think are quite welcome. Now, as I said before, make sure that you go to the Windows update and check for the updates first to install this update. And that way you guys will get this brand new start menu. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as well, and I will see you all around guys in the next video.